Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. Welcome, Calvisham and Mateus. Hopefully, you're both doing well. So let's chat. Um, oh, looks like we have a new follow. Thank you, Burton TTV, for the follow. You're wide open! So I feel like we are really, really, really close to the end of the game. I, I can't imagine there's going to be more than one dungeon if it's even going to end up being a proper dungeon before we beat the game. Uh, we basically have killed all the dragons. We have all the tablet pieces. We did the lifting verse on the four continents. The only thing left is to allegedly crash into the North Pole, I think. And then I'm assuming at some point we're going to fight Ma'o. But there's no, really not that much left in terms of plot. So I imagine this would be the point of no return for side quests. Potentially, or we've already gotten past that point. I'm not entirely sure. But hopefully everybody is doing well today. Let us pause the music. I will say soundtrack for this game is super good. pause it for now so if nothing else the soundtrack really held up for the game and always smile when we hear new soundtracks <laughs> i guess i'll make a comment I, I think i made a comment at the beginning of the playthrough but thq is not known for producing quality games when I think of them, I think uh, Quest 64 and wrestling games. Maybe maybe chat has other games that they associate them with. But like that's all I see when I see that logo when we boot up the game. And it's a shame because I actually think this game is still good, honestly. It has flaws, don't get me wrong, but... It held up way better than a lot of the other games we've played on stream. Well, I guess for the sake of exploration, if I change my mind later at some point, I could make another save. I don't think the Town of Arona save is going to help me, because that was after something I wanted to experiment. So I'm going to save all the way at the end of the game here. And uh, I guess we'll tell them we're about to go crash into the North Pole to see what the reaction is. Thank you again, Eon, for everything. I have this terrible feeling that there's great danger ahead. <laughs> Is it because we're going to crash into the North Pole? Please be careful. Okay. I think now we just have to find Laramie. Who is probably here, because she's been here like 90% of the time. Oh, she's not in here. Oh, that's true. They did tell us to go find them. Uh, well, I guess the hunt for Laramie continues. Welcome in Parameter. Oh, oh, she was easy to find. Eon, you're safe. I'm sorry, Laramie, but Gandor is. Please, you don't have to. I'm so relieved that you're back in one piece. Jeez, I was worried we were gonna... We we're gonna get through the whole playthrough without getting one piece. From now on, everything will be okay, right? I like how we nod our head. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm not gonna count repeating the dialogue, of course. Listen, chat, for those not aware, Inevitably, inevitably in RPGs, if you let it go on long enough and it has dialogue, they will use the phrase One Piece. So get One Piece. Wait, this guy lived? Or is this just a different random soldier? I remember him from last time. Did, did you have a brother that exploded in the other room? We definitely saw that character die. I'm just saying, I don't think there were two.
Either that or he recovered very well from splitting into pieces. But who oh, who did I not who did I not talk to? Do I have to talk to Airlim? Right, Chad? I talked to Laramie and Okay. Do I have to talk more than once or something weird? Because you didn't repeat dialogue. I guess I'll try talking to Erlim. I mean, there's literally no other characters alive that I can think of. They're all dead. <laughs> it's like, it's like, go talk to everybody. You meet all two people because everybody else is dead. Yeah, you told us that last time. Okay. I, I guess they mean talk to Erlim. I don't usually include heirloom in the everybody category, but I, I guess we're here. I guess he got super glued back together. I'm like, I, I thought it was supposed to be that guy, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Now we're getting new dialogue. It's time to carry out heirloom's last mission. Are you ready? Oh, so we already are at the point of no return. Oh, so the other save doesn't do anything. I saved too late. <laughs> Laramie says, where's Eon? Have you seen him? No, Erlim isn't here either. Erlim is gone too. This makes me suspicious. I like how they I like how we were told to tell them what's going on and we didn't actually tell them. Maybe we should ask Karak about it. The Great Pigeon. Did you say your farewells to that boy? What are you talking about? Oh, I see. He must have decided not to tell you. Tell us about what? Please, tell us what happened to Eon. He took Erlim to the North Pole. There, Erlim will be submerged into the water, which will then freeze. This will allow the water level to drop, and the continents will return to their original state. But if Erlim sinks, Eon can never return, right? This is awful! Why should Eon have to sacrifice his own life? It's not a sacrifice or even punishment. It is his purpose in this life. No! Not after all that he's done for us! It's not fair! Everyone that I love is dying! Laramie, don't cry. What? Is that you, Corky? Yeah, it's me. Carrick thought you, you would appreciate a familiar voice. He's letting me use his body so I could take you to Eon. I'm not really sure how this body loading thing works, but now you can ride on my back. There you go, chat. I guess Quirky didn't totally die. I guess that's fair. I can't believe it. Thank you, Quirky. Actually, we should thank Carrick for this. It may take a minute for me to get used to this body, but we don't have much time. Up on and hang tight. Erlim, is that you? No. Systems ready. Identification is affirmative. Master of Erlim is recognized. Your soul is gone. Now, this is only a machine. System ready for freeze process. Proceeding to North Pole. Destination is locked. Engines are at full force. <sighs> Possibly our final teleport of the game. Arrival at North Pole. Awaiting orders to proceed with final descent. Also, I think I said decent instead of descent, but I auto-corrected when I read it. This is it. So much has happened. The lands are safe, but many lives were lost. If I could be reborn, I'd like to live in a peaceful world. And I wish that you, Erlum, could be reborn as a person. I guess it is time for our final mission. Erlum. I order you to make your descent into the sea. What's happening now? The scepter!
Master, listen carefully. What? The scepter must have restored Heirloom's soul. Oh, the scepter just does whatever it wants. You need not go with me. What are you talking about? I have to complete this mission. Although the rules are for you to stay on board, I want you to go. I will be able to complete the descent without you. Your friends need you. You need to stay with them. Now, just close your eyes. Now loading. Corky, come on, we've got to hurry. I see it now, it hasn't sunk yet. We made it just in time. It's falling fast. Hurry, Corky. Hold on. They are calling for you. Please go and join your friends. Goodbye, Master. I'm glad I could be of service. Thank you. To me, you're not only a magic tower, but also a good friend. <laughs> that's, I, I guess that's a line. Bye bye, heirloom? Question mark. Is this... Eon? Eon, you're alive! You really had us worried. I'm sorry you were worried, but what are we riding on? <laughs> it's me, Eon. Don't you recognize me? It sounds like Corky's voice. I thought you'd never guess. What happened? We were all worried you might get killed. So Karak let me use his body. Thanks, everybody. What about Erlim? The scepter restored Erlim's soul. Because of that, he could accomplish the mission on his own. He spared my life. He acted like a true friend and sacrificed himself for you. We learned oh, he learned compassion from Eon. Let's head back to the continents. I agree. I wonder what everyone is doing. Yes, I want to see how the townspeople are doing. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> Soon Erlim will disappear into the sea. Alright, where's the plot twist? We know this is not the end of the game. We didn't resolve, like, the whole Ma'o thing. Uh What's happening? Look at the sky. It's gone dark. <gasps> Look at that light up there. What is it? We're being sucked into it. <gasps> did 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 we just open a gateway to hell? <laughs> I mean, I You know what? You know what? I'm I'm not going to say I'm entirely surprised, but <laughs> that that's a pretty big F. <laughs> Let's save the world. Oops. <laughs> yeah, what happened indeed? Thank you, Blue Donna. Where are we? What a strange corridor. This place. It seems so familiar. Does it? You hear a familiar voice. It sounds like Valos. Valos? Ooh. We have a mark on our cheek. It must be Valos. What is he saying? Eon, you have made me proud. You have overcome many difficult situations. I can't possibly teach you more than you have already mastered. All that remains is a supreme challenge to your soul. The circumstances you have already endured have prepared you for what is to come. You will face extreme danger and difficult choices. I believe you have the strength of body and mind to overcome these obstacles. I have faith in you, my son. 
Okay. <clears throat> a familiar voice speaks to you. It's the voice of Salela. Salela? Wait, she's not dead. Why, why are we getting the voice of her? Eon, all which you have accomplished is so remarkable. You've saved many lives and given new hope to my people. You rescued me from the spell cast by the Imperial Army, and you have saved the future of the continents and their people. However, this is not a permanent solution. <clears throat> These acts of destruction will repeat themselves endlessly. This world was created to test human nature and their curiosity, which leads to greed. Their souls can never be redeemed as long as this evil entity exists. You must defeat this evil to truly secure our future and put an end to the cycle. Good luck. This will be your greatest challenge. How is she psychic talking to us? Valos makes sense. He's dead and I think we're in hell, but like... <laughs> I mean, she deserves to go to hell, but I mean, that's a, that's a different, that's a different train of thought and line of, uh, powers. Oh god, is the evil scientist guy going to talk to us? A familiar voice speaks to you. It is out of the Scholar Zeroist, of course it is. <laughs> that chat, now you know we're in hell. Is that you, Zeroist? Eon, you have impressed me with your courage. Now listen carefully. In a previous life, we were all slain by Ma'o. We were reincarnated and placed in this world which faced a tragic fate. The sinking of the lands represented the sinking of our souls into despair. Then you rescued our souls and disrupted the cycle of destruction. The Ma'o is angry and has thrown the world into darkness. You can revive the world, but we will have to make a choice may seem cruel and unfair, but you must decide and face the challenge. Good luck, Eon. You've already come so far. So I'm guessing from the merchant, there were three merchant weapons and a merchant armor we didn't collect. So not a 100% file. I'm a little sad I did save after a point of no return, but I guess I should have expected it when we went onto the ship before. You hear a familiar voice. <clears throat> it is the voice of Gandor. Gandor? Eon, it's almost time for you to find out about your past. Once I fought against you and you... Well, that isn't important now. Well, you could have told us before you died, Gandor. I'm pretty sure it's important given we're here now. What you must understand is that although our bodies are mortal, our souls exist for eternity. Therefore, the way we live our lives is important how our souls will fare. And reincarnation gives us the chance to redeem our souls. Most importantly, you must not be deluded by evil. Believe in yourself. Don't give up. Wow, Gandor, you totally did not help with the situation. Well, we're already past the point of no return, so I might as well just save over the other file. Unless there's something where I can hit no or whatever. Anyway, Arcea goes, Eon! Eon, what are we doing here? Heard someone talking about Ma'o. Yes, I think I heard it too. I heard it from the wise men and my father. I think I heard it from the Spirit King's servants. They said that this world will perish. What does it mean? It means the world will perish. What do you think it means, Marcia? I'm not sure if that was a dream or if this is. This place seems familiar, yet it makes me feel so sad. Yes, me too. I think I have been here before. It makes me sad too. What are you two talking about? Eon, what happened to your left cheek? There's some sort of mark. What? A mark? Oh, that is... Oh, no! Arcia? What is it? Are you alright? This is terrible! It's the mark of evil. What does this mean? She's asking what does this mean a lot. <laughs> 
I'm getting a little concerned about her mental state given earlier in the uh, town visit. Huh? Evil? Something very strange is going on here. What happened to Eon's cheek? Where are we? What are we doing here? I feel so disoriented. We have to figure out what is going on. What? The door is open. It's inviting us to come inside. It sounds like a voice is calling to us. Well, I guess we ought to go in. Wait, Laramie, it's too dangerous. Are you going to tease me with two save crystals and not let me save? Oh, that is so rude. Anyway, cutscene. Arcea, what's wrong? Oh, I've seen this place before. Oh, oh my head! Arcea, what happened? Oh, Arcea. Who are you? My name is Demar, the only surviving ruler of the Nether Sphere. Then you're the last demon. Oh, we found the person that summoned Ma'o. So, so there's our there's our boss before the real boss kind of situation. Anyway, Damar goes, oh, <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Who are you? What is this place anyway? You know, oh, I guess we'll find out. So either it's split souls and one of us is Ma'o or we literally are Ma'o. I think we talked about that last time. I just, I just want to clarify, one of two situations is happening, but since this is sort of related to Illusion of Gaia, it's possibly we were like the light side of Ma'o or something. Anyway, we'll, we'll see what approach they go with. This is Hades. I mean, yeah, I've, I kind of figured we died. This is the kingdom which rules you. What do you mean? The world which you were living in was in an endless cycle of war. This allowed me to continuously collect many evil souls to increase my power. But Eon managed to disrupt this. Oops, cycle spelled wrong there. To disrupt the cycle by gaining power over Heirloom. Now a paradox has occurred, and that world has disappeared for good. Your souls no longer have a place to go, so they've come here. Are you saying our world no longer exists? Yes, because of Eon. He is the ultimate instrument of destruction. Do you mean the scepter? It can't be. Yes, it is the scepter. It is always given to the most evil person in existence. Long ago, but it was a prince named Zarug. He became Ma'o Zarug. What? I'm not sure what happened to Laramie's text there. Oops. Laramie goes, Arcia, what's wrong? Do you think he's right? Ian is Ma'o Zarug? That's silly. <laughs> it is difficult to believe he could have been Ma'o. The look of the mark on his cheek. It's just like mine. You're trying to trick us. Eon could never be Ma'o. Do you think we're fools? Oh no! My kingdom was destroyed by Ma'o Zaruk, and he told me to kill them. Arcea, what are you talking about? She is beginning to remember her past life. Perhaps she's feeling foolish now. Uh oh, foolish fools chat. Stop it. What have you done to Arcea? <laughs> what did I do? You make me laugh. You are the one who ordered her murder. How ironic it is. When you died as Zarug, you were brought to this doomed world and left to experience its sad fate. 
The magic has dispensed. Oh, dis. Excuse me, let's try, let's try this again. The magic was dispersed, and the spirits were cast into darkness. The world was to provide souls for my taking. I am the last Ma'o. A long time ago, in another world, you were the Ma'o. That is why you have the scepter. But you were too weak. And now you're just a pathetic boy. Why don't you just hand me that scepter, and then perhaps I will spare your soul. I was Ma'o. That's impossible. Okay, so they're more going for the reincarnation versus there's two sides thing. Whatever. Think hard, Eon. Don't you remember? Your kingdom was defeated, and you became so angry and hateful that you summoned Ma'o. Hatred made him Ma'o. That can't be true. Eon is so kind and charitable. You don't understand. You did not exist in the past when Eon was Zarug. But you will soon see his true form. Uh oh, flashing light. Is, is it gonna be Slazer? Okay, it is gonna be Slazer. He was mysteriously gone for a long period of time. That's why I'm saying it. <laughs> Laramie says, brother? What is going on? Slazer. Slazer dot dot dots. <laughs> How do you like that? Slazer always disliked the human race. He always thought that they took more than their fair share from the earth. I thought he'd be pleased to see all the people perish. I even thought he could have been Ma'o. But I ended up making him my servant under my spell. And now I shall order him to kill you and get me that scepter. Slazer, what's wrong? Please wake up! Both of you, step back. Yeah, it says, Slazer, don't do this. There's no reason for us to fight each other. Slazer, dot, dot, dots. Is this going to be a real boss battle or a cutscene? That's, that's the question I'm asking myself right now. I thought I could take the scepter and kill Damar myself, but now I know that it would not end this terrible mess. You are the only one who can bring the world out of darkness. What? Are you no longer under my spell? Beware, Damar. Your end is near. Oop, oh, he got force pushed. Laser. That's the best you've got. Come on, try again. I want you to succeed. When I die, my spirit will enter the scepter forever. If your puny spirit tries to enter the scepter, I will destroy it. All right, then. Let's see if you can. What? Eon, use your strongest magic on me so that my spirit can enter the scepter and save us all. Oh, Slazer, no, I could never do that. Brother! Eon. You are the only one with the magic to stop the cycle. If you don't, evil will triumph forever and we are lost. Eon, kill him now while you can! I'm not sure why putting his soul in the scepter would solve this, but I guess we're gonna kill Slazer. You are fools! Why should you give your soul to this boy? You're just as evil as I, and now you're facing eternal death for nothing. I think that my soul can help end the cycle of destruction. And if so, it is worth it. Slazer! Brother! Eon, hurry! You only have a few moments for the scepter to capture my soul. Then you will have the strength to defeat Damar. Quick, do it now! This is what my brother really wants. Eon, please listen to him. It's his final wish. <laughs> Wait, I can choose not to use genocide? Wait, what happens if I don't? What are you waiting for? Use your strongest magic. What if I say no again? Oh, that, but thou must. Okay, fine, we'll use genocide. 
to, to, I mean, the sparkle is real. Slacer! Your LP has been increased. Nice. Yo, we, we exploded him. Another innocent soul has been sacrificed to give me power. But I don't want this power. Now loading. <laughs> what wonderful entertainment! Actually, I'm beginning to feel even more powerful. There must be some hatred swelling up in your soul, and it's making me stronger. <laughs> Perhaps I shouldn't destroy you. Perhaps you will be at my side, Ma'o Zarug. Please, please stop it. Why do you have to be so cruel to us? Do you think you can deceive me, Princess El Elomera? I am not Zarug. You must think you are quite a sorceress to try to fool the Ma'o twice. What? How dare you make such threats? Arcee is just an innocent girl, and you're confusing Eon with someone else. You should hurry up and get rid of these worthless souls, Zarug. Uh oh, rotating camera chat. That's how you know it's serious. No matter what you may think, I am ultimately in command here. Perhaps you should consider joining me, Zarug. It would certainly suit you. Think about it. So they very briefly mentioned the princess as being the reason Ma'o stopped fighting. Where am I? Where does this lead? Maybe if I continue, I can find Amar. I can't allow the loss of so many lives to be in vain. Why are there two save crystals, by the way? Did they re I guess they really wanted to make sure you don't miss the final save of the game, presumably. Door can't be open, door can't be open. Oh, okay. Thou must walk in a straight line, that's fair. Oh, hello. Ooh. He has a wider arc than the other characters. I thought he was going to do something like that. Oh, why didn't I get the double strike there? That sucked. Oh, wow, that punishes a single dodge? Oh, uh, he uses all the attacks of the Sentinel monsters. Interesting. He's not hard, it's just more unfortunate he has, like, literally 270 degree coverage now, which was not a thing before. He had, like, 180 degree. Oh, unfortunate. It makes it hard to charge at him if he's doing that, so that's why I'm not using the run attack, just for clarity. I had a feeling he probably had the other lasers. So I'm taking a lot of damage, but we have a lot of MP, so it should be fine. I finally got through a shield. Wow, that took too long. Oh well. One fight down. You defeat a sentinel. Attained a lifestone 300 MP. Oh, they they really want to make sure you have resources for the final boss. Lifestone's already a massive heal, and I think that's the one that gives us like 500 plus MP. So they are really making sure you can beat the game. Damar's voice echoes from somewhere. I only need like 70 to heal myself. The evil is growing, taking control of him. He is losing his humanity. Soon he will be like the Ancient Ones. That's a lie. Eon is not evil. He won't give in to your magic. He won't. <laughs> yes, he will. He has been chosen. He is the one. Evil souls from all the worlds awaken when ghastly deeds are repeatedly committed. Eon is the reincarnation of Ma'o, the wizard of evil. He perpetuates the corruption that draws these souls to me. It is through him that I am able to lure them into my domain and rule them as I wish. No! No! 
You, your brother, and all the other survivors of the lands are merely pawns, manipulated by my hand to collect the souls of the evil dead. I have always been in control of your fate. <laughs> I was not expecting full voice, not gonna lie. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. Allergies are bothering me again today for some reason. Well. I guess we gotta fight Damar. I mean, I guess to be fair, he's been referenced before this point, so it's not like the boss came out of nowhere. Oh, come on. Well, he attacks so fast. I can't strike it between those hits. Yeah, see, he punished his triple strike now. Man, this enemy type sucks. I'm not gonna lie. That went through my- Oh, it went through my guard because he hit behind me. Oh, that's gross. That's actually gross. Wow, he punishes even double strike on guard afterwards. Wow, that sucks. There we go, I finally... Oh, it didn't go anywhere, so I didn't make him lose his shield forever. I was trying to bully his shield off of him so I could just bully him. Okay, so he will do unblockables. I'm not gonna lie, it is really unfair when they input read you. I'm feeling input red super hard right now. Speaking of which... Like, do you see him punishing like every single move I input? It's actually kind of crazy. All right, now, now that I got rid of his shield, we could bully him, which is what I was looking to do earlier. This is fine. I'm more LP than him. I can slug it out and go heal. I don't care. I, did, you see, did you see me get punished on hit? <laughs> like, that's crazy. Holy. Where's our frame advantage? Demar's voice echoes from somewhere. Yes, all of the people you know who have perished in your pathetic wars have died in the name of the great Ma Ozarouge. No! No, you must hear it all. You must remember it all. The fear in your voice tells me that you are starting to remember. In your previous life, you were killed by Mao Rouge. No, it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> you were an innocent princess in the ancient kingdom who was killed by Zarouge so that you could serve him. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna save between every fight. Apparently there is more than one ending to this game, but we haven't gotten to the point where we make that decision. So I'm doing this so I don't have to refight this. I plan on showing both endings. We have an insane amount of MP right now. Oh no, a dragon. It's like hilariously easier than the other fight that we fought. Do you see what I mean? Like the dragon is like not as impressive as they think it is. I'm sure they meant for this to be the ultimate enemy, but this is like infinitely easier than dealing with the soldiers that input read you. Or punish you on hit as we saw earlier. I had to block there. Oh, he's against the wall. I gotta block. Oh, the wall stopped me from dodging. Come on. That's so cheap. Can this stupid enemy stop going against the wall? It makes fighting him so much harder. Thank you. Oh, I dodged the wrong way. That was my fault. Also, can you stop healing? Alright, so I can't... Oh, now that is tedious. He just full health every time if I mess up even once. Wow. That's a decision. I guess that's one way to make him quote-unquote harder. 
So we would have killed him by now, by the way. He recovered like two entire life bars already. Oh. Wow, that is really annoying, actually. Okay, I was worried he would knock me down. As long as he doesn't knock me down, he's not gonna heal. Yeah, see that? If I triple slice there, I would have been punished. Game, please. What am I getting stuck on when I sidestep there? Okay, he should be dead now. I just wanted to guarantee he wasn't gonna knock me back. So we're max MP. Damar's voice echoes from somewhere. Hatred is the fuel that powers evil. When Prince Rouge was defeated, he was treated with such cruelty that his hatred festered and grew to such an extreme that he unknowingly summoned the spirit of Mao-O to become one with him. Once the spirit of Mao-O is welcomed, he rules. No, no, it can't be. When Prince Rouge was taken over by the spirit of Mao, he became ruthless. He cut through the land like a scythe, crushing his enemies. He conquered all the worlds but one. That world was ruled by Princess Elamira, who suffered the same hardships as Rouge. Arcea was Princess Elamira in a previous life. <laughs> Princess Elamira. I've read about her in Mao mythology. Mao mythology. He finally defeated Princess Elamira's forces, but when he saw her, memories of their past life flashed before him. Despite this, he eventually gave the order for the princess's execution. Please stop! Stop it! Saruj was a weak human, not worthy of Mao. At the last minute, he ordered his men to free the princess. He sacrificed himself for her, and when he died, he entered my world, thinking he could challenge my powers. I've kept your world in a continuous cycle of war because of Saruj. You are helpless, locked into a never-ending repetition of your past. Only I hold the key to ending the evil, and as long as it continues, I keep gaining power in my domain. You are such weak creatures. All the wars you've fought, you've fought before. All the people you've killed were the reincarnation of your old retainers. I have merely invited you to be violent and evil. And you have never disappointed me. You've gone to war without remorse for its victims. You've killed of your own free will. You are all as evil as the Rouge himself, and as long as you are evil, you shall always be under my control. Did, did his voice line cut out at the end there? Well, anyway, what we're gonna do, we're gonna save again so we don't have to sit through those cutscenes. I'm sure chat would appreciate this when we go to refight. So yeah, so sadly I saved like right after the point of no return, which is un unfortunate. I would have maybe liked to have seen what the bonus stuff did, but I'm not gonna replay literally like 15, 18 hours of a game just to get back to where I was earlier. I should probably heal before I end this fight, just in case we get MP again. Come on. Like, whether or not I could triple strike just literally depends on what arm he swings. And I, I, like, that's not really fair to me. Otherwise, this fight takes forever. I'm gonna pop him one more time. One swing. There we go. It's like not a hard fight, it's just more tedious than anything. Oh, you like that dodge? Block, block, block. There we go. Uh, I'm playing it more... Oh, he's stuck against the wall again. Can you stop going against walls? Like, this makes this fight so much harder than it has to be. Do you mind? Do you mind not being against the wall? Because I can't circle straight for you. Cool. Um, so now I can't do anything. Alright, uh, screw this. <laughs> Let's see how Flame Sphere works. 
Oh, he just blocks it full screen. Cool. Glad that magic was pointless. Well, now I'm going to use low level heal. Oh, now, now you leave the corner. Now I get to play the game. Yeah, just for chat clarity, like when he's against the wall like that, I can't circle strafe. And his attacks hit 180 degrees in front of him, so there's nothing I could do. Because he attacks faster than me. So it doesn't make sense to try to hit him when he's like that. And he's got super armor, so he'll punish you like that. I'm getting worried he's going against the wall again. Because he seems to be backing up very slowly. Oh, damn, he knocked me down. Also, I would like to say a black attack on a mostly black floor is a design choice. I don't know why they didn't give it another color to make it pop a little more. Ooh, that was a little greedy. I could have been punished there with a full heal. Oh, we, we had him in, like, an attack loop for a moment. There we go. I'm trying to think of ways to speed it up when he's being really annoying against the wall. Like, there I could get a lot of swings, because he did his breath attack. Like, that's a big punish time, for sure. Oh, no, I miss... I missed the hit. Actually, let me heal again. If I could get one more... Oh, I walked into it because I couldn't see it on the floor. Stupid design choice. Oh, we didn't recover MP that time. That's unfortunate. So we still have a bazillion MP, which is fine. We have all of our healing items in the world to fight this final boss. So now we don't have to fight any of these enemies again. Hopefully, given that there's no cutscene, I'm assuming it was supposed to go into the boss. I can feel something evil here, something powerful. I have to prepare myself to face Damar. The whole world is counting on me. I could go back the way I came and fight more enemies to prepare. Yeah, see, this is the game's way of saying you don't have shops. How do you get items? So 300 MP and super heal. Or I could enter this room and face Damar. What should I do? I'm going to say I'm going to challenge Damar. Let's not refight things. All right, so we don't have to fight any of those enemies again. I just have to beat the final boss potentially twice. Just fine. Dark thoughts are filling my head, overwhelming me. Could I really have been so evil? I must destroy Damar, but when I think about it, I feel so much rage. What's that? I think he hears some voices. My name is Arug. I was the Ma'o. Was I you in my previous life? Yes, you were the reincarnation of my soul. Welcome here, Asvania. As long as your hatred exists, Ma'o will reign. And this infernal world will endure. There's only one way to stop the cycle. By using the power which is sealed within the scepter. You can destroy the entity who calls himself the last Ma'o. However, you must also sacrifice the soul of someone you love. Her soul will enter your scepter and give you the strength to defeat Damar. What? I can't do that. How can I ask someone to sacrifice themselves? Only a pure and loving soul can allow you to overcome such evil. Choose one and fight or else you'll lose everything. No, I can't make that kind of decision. Arcee and Laramie are both dear to me. I can't let this happen to either one of them. 
You're asking me to make one of them face eternal death like Slazer. The scepter begins to glow, reacting to the silver comb and the coral necklace. Laramie! Arcia! You can't really be here. Maybe this is an illusion created by the scepter. Laramie, this must be an illusion. Eon, can you hear me? Although you may feel guilt over my death, you shouldn't. Because now we are one. I'm honored to be a part of this effort to save mankind. I still don't believe that you were evil in another life. But even if it's true, you've redeemed yourself. Take care of Arcia. She is a good person and will help keep peace in the new world. I'm ready, Eon. I will always be in your heart. Arcia? Arcia, is that you? She can't hear me. Must be an illusion created by the scepter. Eon, don't be sad. My body is just an illusion, but my soul is really speaking to you. Fate has brought us together again, and now we have the chance to set things right. I believe you love me even as Zarug, because you sacrificed your life for me. And now I'm happy to have a chance to repay you. Let's fight this evil demon and save the world. I love you, Eon, and now we are one. Now you must choose. The soul you take will disappear for eternity. If you defeat Damar, the rest of the souls will return to their new world. You must take either Arcea's or Laramie's soul in order to save everyone. Noah Chan, I have a question for you. Wh which one would you sacrifice for all eternity? Th this is kind of like p pick the person you want Eon to fall in love with. <laughs> Because, like, if I pick Arcea, it means we end up with Laramie. If we pick Laramie, we end up with Arcea. I guess to start things off... Sack Arcea. D damn. Cold, but true. Arcea's soul will now be still within your scepter. Are you ready? Yeah, she's getting sacked first. This will be the chat's true ending right here. I'm so grateful to you, Eon. And this is a way that I can repay you for all that you've endured for us. Let us defeat this awful demon together. So now we know chat's choice. They're team Laramie. <laughs> so I have 699 MP, a bazillion MP potions. If I can use spells on the final boss, it would be nice. Otherwise, we have near infinite healing. What is this? Oh, no. Are they doing the infinite space arena like they did in Act Razor? This might be a really annoying fight, chat. I have a bad feeling about this. Damar says, Zarug, why are you in such a denial? Wouldn't you like to be part of this kingdom? Well then, I must destroy you like the rest. Be prepared, because I will make sure your death is a painful one. Does he have as much AP as such? Oh. I thought we were in cutscene mode for a second. Okay, so you can't block that. Good to know. Oh, it's a 3D fight where I can't hit him. Cool. Now I can hit him. Okay, we got one health bar down. Uh, the rotating arena is so weird. <sighs> His little sidesteps with the rotating arena are actually working. That's the sad part. Alright, the almighty bonk is so useful in this battle. Thank you, almighty bonk. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. You got me. So I think I'm in block mode here. Unless it's the red crystal, then I gotta dodge that. Okay. Gotta dodge that, gotta dodge that. Oh. 
He made my run fail because he went sideways. That's kind of annoying. Double dash backwards, run in, strike. Double dash backwards, run in, strike. Listen, chat. The tried and true strategy is real. If I do this well, I don't even need healing items. I could do a safety heal if I wanted to. It just, that attack right there is kind of annoying because I'm expecting to dodge the crystal. Yeah, that was the attack I was trying to dodge. I could safety heal just because. I want to see if I actually need to heal in this boss battle a little or not. I think what also hurts is that sometimes, oh, dodge that. Sometimes it seems like my run attack doesn't align me properly. So I only get two strikes instead of three. And that caused him to live there because of that indiscrepancy. Oh, is he actually on the floor? I couldn't actually tell, to be honest with you. Oh, now he's in the sky. Yeah, I'm blocking. We're gonna back up so I have time to react to the crystal. Got punished immediately. Thanks, game. I love it. Oh, there, see what I mean? Like, it just sometimes his little dash is enough to interrupt me. I'm gonna miss again. Like, I know basically what to do, it's just more can I react to the weird camera angle and everything else. Oh. Blocking time. Oh, actually, dodging time, I think. Nope, it was blocking time. Fine, I'll heal. I definitely did not need any healing items for this boss, though. Especially after it gave me, like, 600. Will you stop that? I'm gonna dodge. I wasn't lined up with him, so I couldn't punish him. There we go. That time I lined up pretty well. So yeah, I, I don't think I'll need healing items for this, for sure. I don't think I need more than one heal. It's mostly just getting used to... Like, that attack is kind of unfair. Every other attack I think I could react to pretty well. What? What? What was that camera angle? Game, please. Okay. Okay. Dodge. I can see the color of his spell when it's red a bit more easy than the other ones, so by default I could just block. So now now I know he has a big visual tell. I was oh, I swear I was holding block at the after the dodge. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't lined up for the uh red crystal. Oh well. That's the only attack I really care about, because that'll heal him, presumably. And I don't want to see if he recovers LP or not, to be honest with you. Oh, that is also rude. That's hard to react to because you just want to charge at him. And then stuff like that happens, which makes it really confusing what's going on. What a weird decision to make this boss 3D like this. Oh, I missed because I didn't get the run. I'm... Oh, that's right. Uh, I think it's... Yeah, there we go. That'll work. Or not, apparently. Thanks for missing, protagonist. I feel like I'm getting hit more from, like, jank camera angle than me, like, actually genuinely messing up. Where, like, I have an idea of what to do. It's just, will my sword strikes actually land? If they don't, I get punished. I mean, at least we could block this. Makes that a bit easier. He's almost dead, at least. Oh, he's back in the sky. Or no, he's back on the ground. He just wanted to taunt me in the air or something briefly, I guess. We're gonna block, because I don't know what he's doing. But so far, I find him a much easier boss than some of the other bosses we fought. It's more the camera angle that makes this boss a bit weird. Like, I'm having less trouble with him than the... Like, I, I found the, uh, the Sentinel much harder than him. If Sentinel had this much health, I would have been re restoring health constantly. You know what's sad, chat? I think we're actually going to kill him without me needing to have actually used the heal magic. Yeah, I didn't need to heal. Yeah, he's way easier than normal enemies. Yo, he took like a third less time than the Sentinel did. Holy. Yeah, so if you subtract four health bars from that, I still would have had two LP left over. So I didn't even need to heal to beat him. Tell people, tell people that struggle on this boss to get good, <laughs> right, chat? I, I didn't even technically need to heal. <laughs> Oops. 
Oh well, I guess I wasted time by healing. Who would have thought he defeated Damar? I mean, that was just straight up bullying. I think we can agree. As soon as I figured out what attack was blockable, it was over for him. GG. I did it, Arcea. But now I must disappear with this evil world as atonement for my sins. No, Eon. This new world will need you. The people will find oh, will need your guidance and find to find peace. Laramie will need you too. I'm honored to have helped bring an end to the evil. Good luck, Eon. This is goodbye. Yeah, I'll I'll take him over fighting the Sentinels all day. The Sentinel also forced me to heal and had like a third of the LP, <laughs> right, Chad? <laughs> oh my, yeah. Some of these enemies are just way harder than I think they realize. I guess if you don't know how to do run attack, the boss is hard, question mark. Sentinel will counter you with run attack due to it having lasers. He doesn't really have a counter to that other than the rare uh, wind blade, which is hard to react to. But he doesn't do it often enough to make it not worth it, as you saw. He did it like, what, twice? That entire battle versus like the 40 something times I charged into him. So, I mean, if he's not consistently countering me with it, I don't care. Yan says, Arcia! Eon, what about Arcia? We've experienced so much. You and I really need some time to heal. We both have lost so many loved ones. It's too painful. Do you feel the same? I'm not sure, Laramie. I'm trying to think about how this new world can have such hope about the future. But for us, so much has already been lost that it's hard to be optimistic. I'm not sure how long it will take for the pain to go away. I think we both need some time to heal. Let's part for a while, until seeing each other will not bring so many memories. Don't you agree? Yes, I think that's a good idea. I'm sure in time we can find happiness. Look, our world is appearing again. We could go home now. Thank you, Arcia. You enabled all this to happen. I think you've done the most honorable deed anyone could ever do. I never really was as close to Eon as you were, but I care about him too. I will see you again, Eon, won't I? We nod our head. journey and finished the last chapters of my chronicle you've done well in studying these people Arcia. i had considered them too evil to be worthy of more of my time and attention there's so much to learn about these fascinating people sometimes they're immature and primitive but for the most part they're very intelligent and compassionate it is obvious that more work must be done i want you to continue working on your chronicles yes as you wish. I, okay, we talked to the Blur Man. Eon has defeated Damar, and the world is peaceful. Almost a year has passed. A year has already passed, and the people of Shilf feel safe and secure. Didn't you already say that, game? I feel like I was on repeat there for a second. A year has passed. A year has already passed. I'm like, yes, that's what that means by year has passed. And we're an elderly man's home. Now the children can have hope for the future. I hope they will appreciate how their lives were saved. Granddaughter says, did that boy save the other continents? Yes. But why do you ask about him? Well, don't you think he was very handsome? He was quite a strapping young boy. Hey, 
Didn't he take the book about the ocarina? And never brought it back? How rude. I wouldn't want to marry a thief. Why do you look so sad? Are you already looking for a husband? Yes, but don't worry. I'll still come and visit with you often. You seem so young. Everyone seems so young to you. Damn, she burned him. I'm not sure if I'll live to see her become a bride, but at least I know that her future is bright. Now loading. The town of Piksham is back to normal. Families were, which were divided have been reunited. And all, and all have become wiser about what they believe and who they trust. After says, Mother, I wonder where she is. I miss having Eon and his friends around. <laughs> yeah, Eon and his friends are basically all dead at this point. Oh, it's you. Afto, I have a present for you. A present? It isn't another fish, is it? Fish is good for you. I really wish you would try and eat healthier. I just don't like the way it smells. Thanks anyway. Eon and his friends seem to like fish. I miss them. <laughs> we never did sell the fishing pole. Yes, they were very good to us. Yeah, Eon was very kind to help us. No, you just need to grow a little older. Then you'll be able to join your friends. <laughs> um... I don't think he wants to do that. Yeah, I can hardly wait. It's pretty lonely for me here. I know. It must be hard for you. Poor Abdo. Maybe Eon and his friends will come visit him soon. Little did they know, we're all basically dead. <laughs> right, chat? Almost literally everybody has been reincarnated or died at this point. The towns of Orkel and Tolku suffered extensive damage from the volcanic eruption. But with renewed hope, the people are rebuilding. They hope to make the towns more prosperous than ever. So that their children will have a wonderful place to grow old. Gain says, I'm no longer needed to check everyone's weight. Now I'm unemployed and bored stiff. And since no one is concerned about their weight anymore, maybe I'll open a restaurant. All the women are already beginning to get nice and fat. <laughs> that is a comment that you can make, I suppose. I'm looking forward to serving many kinds of pies and other varieties of desserts. Even though many airships were built in the New World, not many came to Galtania. Oh, wait, is it because there's only three buildings? The gate to the Spirit World was buried deep in the sand. Karak was gone, and all became very quiet. Wait, why was Karak gone? Oh, maybe because he's with Laramie. Amongst the ruins, Laramie waits patiently for Eon to return. It has been a long time now. Spirit Shrine. Laramie, today you have become a Desbat pirate. You are now a warrior and will conduct yourself as one. Do not call me brother. I am now your commander. Aye, aye, sir. Yo, is she hallucinating the voice of her brother? How dare you walk into a lady's bedroom without knocking? Huh? Um, I, I, I'm sorry, but I, I didn't know where I was. There we go. Truly the truly the cutscene of all cutscenes to remember in this game. I'm gonna question why Laramie's thinking about that again.
I guess Karak decided to just go away forever? <laughs> Question mark. Okay. Well, I guess that was our ending, presumably. Got a time? The Grand Stream Saga staff. There you go, chat. GG. Damn, that boss was easy. <laughs> Can we all agree? Like, that, that, that enemy right there was so much easier than half the BS we put up with in dungeons. I feel like the dragons almost took longer to kill than it did. Oh, this is not the cutscene we should remember. Oh, Grand Stream Saga. I guess we'll talk more after the credits. We'll let it go through. The final boss forgot his difficulty at home. You're not wrong. Like, the other enemies at least had stuff that stopped you from doing it. Like, the dragons had super armor. The sentinel had the shield. Um, the fact that he could punish you on hit was BS. If chat wasn't picking up on that. Like, I legitimately hit him, and he hit me before my second swing came out. So I, I was minus on hit. <laughs> that That's... That's being bottom tier in a fighting game. You should never be minus on hit on anything. But since the final boss was fair, unlike the other things that we fought, he was very easy comparatively. Honestly, the only thing that was unfair about the final boss was when he did that quick win scythe versus like the lasers. The lasers you have a lot of time to react to, and it's definitely my fault when I got hit by those, but the win scythe is actually genuinely hard to react to if you're running. Because by the time you want to sidestep, it's already going to hit hit you pretty much instantly. There you go. Now we're in the animation sequences. Yeah, I think post credits I'm going to go into a longer discussion. We're obviously going to go see the other ending. <clears throat> but I, I don't want to go into too many deep talks before we uh, get to the end of the credits. Just in case there's some weird copyright thing and we get, you know, silented or something weird on YouTube. Which has happened before. We can talk about whatever <laughs> in between. We'll, we'll save final thoughts on the on the game for uh, when we're truly done.
There you go. Copyright 1997-1998. Are we going to do Ace Attorney today? No, I, I don't do Ace Attorney on Sundays. I haven't decided on PSO. I'm leaning maybe no. Since it, it did take about an hour and a half to get to this point. I was thinking if it was with, within an hour and we still have to go through another ending. Uh, we'll probably save PSO for another time. The end. Now the question is, will this automatically end or do I have to reset? That's the real mix up here. So we're going to see another ending and then I think we'll give our final thoughts for the game. And then I'm going to go make lunch because I'm hungry. Uh, seems like nothing else is happening. So we earned our first ending. So I guess we can ask chat, what did you think of the ending? I mean, I guess we saw... I'm still not entirely sure how she saw the spirit of Slazer because I thought that he couldn't come back. So was she just imagining that? Like, did that cutscene happen for her at some point? I mean, I guess she, I guess she was just flashbacking, but we saw her flashback. I guess. I don't know. It's kind of, kind of an odd sequence, to be honest. So, I love how there was this whole bringing up of the Chronicle, which I think technically the game started with. So the narrator was like an omnipotent being thing, I guess. Yeah. What was that all about? They never really elaborated that. They, it's like she's, she came off coming as kind of like a goddess towards the end. And then we're in the chamber with the golden throne question mark i don't know what that was all about anyway let's go reset so we're gonna see what happens if we sacrifice laramie and we're gonna determine which ending we like better but yeah that final boss was like way way easier i think i think he was even easier than the other guy that we fought the other guy had more of a mix-up the only thing that made this boss more hard than it should have been was the dumb camera angle. Like, the fact that he rotates pretty fast, and he's it was kind of hard to tell sometimes if he was floating or not. Since he did like to alternate between them. Uh, at one point, almost like back to back to back, he swapped what he was doing. Yeah, I would rate him pretty low on the boss tier. List. I definitely thought regular enemies were harder than him, for sure. Especially especially Sentinel. Sentinel is so punishing if you don't have the dodge. Like, at no point did I... Like, I guess we never tried sidestepping the boss, but the boss did not really do much to stop us. If he had more unblockable attacks that were faster, it would have been more concerning. Like, it would have been much more intense if instead of him flying up, he was, like, straight up blitzing us with attacks. That actually would have been genuinely pretty hard, and I have to react. But he felt like a kind of nerf sorcerer, to be honest with you. So fortunately, we completed all of these. So I don't have to redo these, at least to see the alternate ending. So thankfully, I thought ahead on this one, chat. So we're just going to mash to skip all the dialogue, and then we're going to choose Laramie to perish. So sadly, there is no, like, start-skip cutscene, but I can mash confirm. So what I'll do is I'll talk to Arcea first, then Laramie, so that way I end up in front of the right person. We're going to optimize our movement slightly. So we're not going to reread any of this since none of this is new. We'll reread what happens when we select uh, Laramie, I guess. I like that we've just been holding this comb the entire time with us. Like, we just kind of memorize it. We're like, yeah, let's just not talk about how strange that is. And we just let it memorize it. Yeah, yeah, blah, blah, blah. We're now one. Right, so let's choose Laramie this time. Let's sacrifice Laramie. 
Your soul will now be sealed within your scepter. Are you ready? We're gonna say yes. Eon, I'm honored to have been a part of your fight. Don't grieve for me. This is the greatest gift I could give to humanity. Let us fight as one. Return this world to its rightful path. Anyway, time to go bully the final boss. Who I don't even know if magic worked on them, because honestly, it really wasn't needed. Yeah, yeah, you're gonna make her death painful, yada yada. <laughs> right, chat? Blah, blah. Oh, I interrupted his attack that time. Aw, oh, he flew up. It's unfortunate. Ooh, weird camera. Ah, right, so he's down a health bar, so I'm winning the War of Attrition currently. Oh, that attack right there, as I said before. Like, I, I even blocked for a moment, didn't see it, and then got hit by it a moment later. That sucked. Better block there, actually. Alright, so he's down two health bars to mine. So we're definitely w winning this War of Attrition so far. I love he just flew up and immediately flew back down. Oh, he's losing this battle hard against me, chat. This is getting embarrassing. Do you want to call a white dragon for assistance or something? He's just getting straight bullied now. Where's your red crystal? That's the only attack that I care about. Oh, or that, I guess. Straight getting bullied now. He's so lucky I didn't know how his attacks worked the first time we fought him. <laughs> he was so done, chat. Honestly, this might be the first boss that we fought where I genuinely think I could probably flawless victory him. It's kind of sad. This pattern is very easy. Even if it is slightly random, it's easy to react to the only thing that'll hurt me. Except for the Wind Scythe. Wind Scythe might chip me. Damn, he's almost at half HP. Oh, I almost got a fourth strike on him there. Nice. Oh, I dodged by it. I did not mean to dodge there. That was a mistake. Get input. Okay. Oh, nope, dodge, dodge. Come on. No. Stop wasting time. Come down and get defeated by me. It's fine. I'll just bully you a little bit. Oh, the sword not lining up on the third strike is so sad. Ooh, he almost got me. Almost. I like the arena forces me closer. I think he's on the floor. I, I had to check for a second. When he does that little glide animation, I can kind of tell. Oh, I blocked his VS projectile. That's good. If I'm too far away, he can't even hit me. He can't. He doesn't even place it where I'm standing. It's kind of sad. So anyway, he's just getting straight bullied now. Oh, I missed the sword swing. That's awkward. And interestingly, if I'm too close, the other attack misses me altogether. Big oof to this boss. Uh, you done? Move slowly here. Stop it. Why are you only targeting over there? Are you feeling okay? I'm not over there. Uh, 
Are, are you gonna do another attack or? <laughs> He's scared, yo. Stop it. What are you doing? I'm getting dark falls, chat. Get, get around. Stop going ring around the. Stop it. Do another attack. <laughs> this is like what happens when they ice spam repeatedly as falls. Dude, put your hands in the air. Give up already. What is this? Holy. Oh, finally, a new attack. Oh, I missed my third strike, which made me get hit there. Unfortunate. Again, some of that is not quite my fault. Like, it just depends on how, like, soon he moves relative to my first hit. And also the fact that the camera angle is disorienting, which does not help. It Can you stop that so we can just end this battle? I'm tempted to use magic just to see if I can hit him. Okay, this is fine. Do whatever you want. No. What? <laughs> wow, he, he played me. He played me, chat. Did you see that? He was like, oh, oh, you can hit me, psych. <laughs> he just went, went back to heaven real quick. Stop doing that. Oh, I couldn't even hit a double hit there. Oh, that's awkward. Come on, get some big hits here. Oh, there's a big hit. Uh, as long as we're not, like, directly in front of him, that can't really do anything to us. He is stalling so hard. Now he- now he's taking longer than Sentinel because he's just refusing to be hit. Classic Quintet final boss. RNG BS. I'm backing up twice just to make sure in case he goes sideways instead of backwards that I can hit him. So that, that's like the only optimization I could really do. Oh, come on. Oh, that was my fault. I thought it was holding guard. I must have been in the evasion animation still. Alright, final health bar. We barely took any damage. Oh, what the? Troll. And done. Now that, that was a lot more convincing. Hope chat was convinced by that. That was pretty easy. I got hit by like two stupid attacks and that was it. He he earned the chip on the site though. You defeated Damar. GG indeed. Convincing chat. Laramie, I did it. But now I must disappear. Oh, yeah, we know this part. No, Eon, you're not evil. Laramie. The evil things which you may have done in the past have been made up for with good things. Perhaps you think that the only way to rid... Z only way to rid of Zarug. Didn't mean get rid of. The only way to get rid of Zarug is to kill yourself. But that is not necessary. When you return to the past, you will have overcome your hatred and changed history. Wait, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. So you're telling me in one ending, every one of our friends is dead in the future and life goes on, but in this one, we totally rewrite history? That's, one seems kind of more overpowered than the other. Laramie, Slazer and I don't have any regrets about sacrificing our souls to you. Don't feel guilty or sad, because there was no other way we could have won. When you return to the past, you will be Eon the Prince, and Arcea will be your princess. You will live happily ever after. So long, Eon. Remember us in your heart. Wow, Laramie's ending got ripped off. Everybody remained dead, but in this one, we could stop the world from being destroyed in the first place. Um, that seems kind of unfair. Eon says, Laramie! Well, there you have it, chat. Just go back in time travel. None of this ever happened. Arcea says, Eon, Laramie is gone. It's so unfair. Laramie had nothing to do with the tragedy that caused this. I should be the one to sacrifice my soul. Don't cry, Arcia. Soon our souls will be released from this world and return to the past. Once we get there, we may not remember all that has happened here, just as we could not remember our past lives in this world. Wouldn't it be funny if we just repeat the cycle? We're just, just the, this is just an extended version of the infinite cycle. 
but I think this experience has made our souls wiser. It has given us the knowledge to make better choices in the future. Actually, we could change history, and this cycle of destruction will never reoccur. Arcia, or Elamira, I really appreciate all that you have endured for me. If I hadn't fallen in love with you, I would still be the Ma'o. Please stay by my side, so that I will never become Ma'o again. Yes, I will. And this time, we shall unite our souls. Arcia. Eon, I have one wish. Before we go back and risk the chance of forgetting all of this, let us retrace all we've experienced in this lifetime. Yes, let's try and remember everything. Close your eyes and take my hand. Yes, let's remember. And then they immediately forget and the whole ending was pointless. <laughs> right, chat? Now loading. Look, it's the town of Galtania. Yeah, it was a strange place. You were all in a trance and acting crazy. I can't remember anything from that period of time, except for when one of my royal guards from my past life came and confronted me. Mm hmm? Could it be? Yeah, Gandor must have been one of your guards in the past. That is the closest we've had to an explanation, and it was missable dialogue as to why Gandor knew about us. Wow. Now things are starting to make sense. Are they? Poor Gandor. I gave him so much trouble. And Corky. So many come and gone. Yes, but not gone from our hearts. Yes, they will always be there. This used to be the way station for Volkos. Yes, I really thought the eruption would be the end for us all. It's amazing we were able to survive it. And how about meeting two of the same person? Or Zeroes. I was also a bit embarrassed when we had to have our weight checked. You shouldn't have to have felt embarrassed. Wish I could have had a chance to thank Zeroes for saving me. I was so surprised to find out that Gainz was the descendant of the wise men. I'm glad he helped us and didn't reveal the secret of the verse to the wizardry. Yeah. We had a lot of help from the people here. <laughs> we got robbed by the old man. Remember that when the mayor took our gold bar? Now loading. This is the town of Piction, on the continent of Aquas. That's right. This is where we met Afto for the first time. I think he has fully recovered from that fall. And I have heard that all the Kells are back to normal. I'm so glad you were able to help these people. Who knows what would have happened without you? No, I had a lot of help. I wasn't the only hero here. Well, I'm just relieved that everyone is okay. This is the town of Arona. Yes, this is where it all started. I'm so glad we were able to save this continent, so our friends could live a long life. Malos, you taught me to do my best. Without your influence, I would have failed. I just wish you could still be here to enjoy this peaceful world. Suddenly, I feel strange. Perhaps it's time for us to part. Yes, it's time for our souls to return to the past. What if we don't remember each other? I think fate will bring us together, like it did in this world. We're bound together by a powerful destiny. And I think our fate will be a happy one this time. Let's go and rewrite history. Take that history. Oh, the town went all rainbow there. I'm assuming that's just an emulator issue. Rip not playing on original PS1. Yeah. 
Prince is the only survivor. Let's move out and find him. Uh, this way. Does that feel better? Yes. Thanks, but why help me? I'm your enemy. But you were hurt. I couldn't just let you lie there in pain because our people are at war. But don't you know that you're supposed to fear and hate the enemy? I don't believe in hating anyone. And besides, for some strange reason, I know I can trust you. Why? Uh. Corky. Huh? Am I right? Is that his name? Yes, it is. But how did you know? I don't know. But he's so familiar to me. He's like an old friend. From the moment I saw you, I felt I'd known you for a very long time. And I feel the same way about you. I wish I could stay here longer and talk to you. Looks like you've been found. I better get going before I am too. Will I see you again? Hmm, count on it. Nothing will keep me away. <laughs> <gasps> Bye. Well, goodbye. For now. It's like, yay, we found love. Laramie's ultra dead. <laughs> so I have a question as we go through the cutscenes here. Did I miss something? Why why did Laramie not have a flashback here? They said that you were from beyond that time. So did we just undo Laramie's existence potentially here? So we'll just look to see if the animated cutscenes are the same, and if they're not, we'll uh give our final thoughts. Yeah, I wasn't entirely sh Oh, they are slightly different. I wasn't entirely sure what they meant by that line, to be honest. So we'll let it go to the end. I'll, I'll let the credits play out, but I don't think there's anything special at the end of the credits. Rip Laramie, I guess. <laughs> I guess in a way we save all of our friends because we don't let history get there, but then we never learn about them. I don't know if I consider that like a happy ending per se, but I guess it was something. I'm more surprised with the when we remained in the future and we sacrificed Heirloom that it didn't go back and talk about what happened with Heirloom's spirit or anything. That wasn't in the cutscene at all. Like, they're like, I hope you reincarnate, never follow it up on. <laughs> or seeing the North Pole frozen over or something. I thought they were going to play a bit more into that, given that they were building up to that for pretty much all of that final portion of the game. So a bit lackluster, I would say. I also like that Gandor's background is not even legitimately explained at all for in-game universe reasons, unless you pick one of the two endings. Welcome, Kerr. You're just in time for the second time we've beaten the game. 
That final boss was really easy. I felt embarrassed for that boss. I felt embarrassed, Kirk. I more or less proved myself by only taking about four pips of damage. Honestly, I probably could have easily taken it down to two pips of damage total. The run attack is too good. Yeah, it, it, we just kind of bullied him. The fights leading into him were much longer and much more annoying, for sure. Not necessarily harder, because Dragon Boss isn't hard. It's just kind of tedious. Yeah, that, that was disappointing. I feel like the last two bosses were like, if you don't know how to run attack, those battles must feel impossible. And there was, there is legitimately no way we were using weapon skills on that boss. There's no way. He was moving so fast. They're like, mm mm. So yeah, we'll, we'll give our thoughts of the session, then we'll go, I guess, directly into our final thoughts. That should be a healthy amount of stream time, I think. See, so yeah, I'm assuming nothing's at the end of the credits. So enjoy the credits again, Kirk. How are you doing, Kirk? We have like five minutes. I'm just making sure there's nothing at the end for beating it this, this way. We don't even have to talk about the game. The game's over. It is what it is. <laughs> so sadly, I, I don't think I could check out Asissa before the side stuff. I didn't realize I saved after a point of no return, which is unfortunate. If I was smarter when I was in the final town before we won on the ship, I would have made a separate save. But oh well. Oh, uh, sorry to hear your back was sore. Hopefully you're feeling a little better now. Honestly, I think we could kind of agree. Magic was mostly pointless in this game. Offensive magic. There were like a couple times it was useful. Like if we want to get the no damage challenge, it is useful for that. But man, it really was... For how expensive the spells were, it kind of wasn't worth doing most of the time, sadly. Yeah. I think we got all but- we got basically all of the equipment but one in some of the slots. We missed a few weapons though, that- that we did miss. So yeah, small regrets in not making another save just to see what would have been there if I had if I just decided to dupe gold bars. Because let, let's be honest, chat, there's definitely a way. I I could literally on the fly probably look up the exact hex value for that gold bar and just dupe it. <laughs> be real with you. <laughs> I would literally be like, give me 20 minutes, chat, we could dupe it. Because I'm not grinding, screw that. And as I'm looking up things here, oh, they already have the hex value. See? This is what I'm talking about, chat. I could have just, I could have been duping it if I felt like it. Shake your head, chat. Apparently all the items are in the 01C91 region. So I would have been able to find it there. And then if I go 00, zero that's the... What item is that? Wind Orb, and it goes down to uh, Black Crystals, which is uh, 01C913D. So I could have duped it, I guess, if I really wanted to, but what would be the point at that point? They also have, in, in one of the places I'm looking up, the Max HP Attack Defense. Oh, well. So 
So apparently, chat, if you remember a while ago, when we first started the game, I mentioned that there was a super weapon that was hidden right where we found Arcea the first time. Apparently, chat, the damage of this weapon is 250. Now keep in mind, chat, the final weapon of the game we used to beat that boss was 95. That's really broken. <laughs> Uh, the axe that we missed was the Omega Mace. It would have had 180 attack power. That's actually pretty good. What else did we miss on this list? Is that really it? Oh, we missed the, uh... Oh, we missed the Avenger. Produced from Special Metal absorbs enemies MP on strike, but it only has 45 attack power, so it would have been pretty irrelevant. Honestly, if we didn't get the whole, if we didn't get the Avenger almost instantly, it would have been irrelevant almost instantly. It was just sitting in a box. No, there. Apparently, you have to face like immediately left while going down the stairs, and you have to use a Panther Eye. So remember that one of use item you get at the beginning of the game? I think they put it there as maybe like a debug item to test the game and they just forgot to remove it, to be honest with you. Because you, you can't ever go back to that room, just for clarity. So I'm pretty sure people just found the debug sword. Because there doesn't seem to be another way to get this item. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it was a debug weapon that people happened to find. So it was like, before you went down the stairs, it was just immediately against the left wall. There's no prompt for it, but you have to use the panther eye to find it. That's why I'm thinking it was probably a debug item. Do you know what I mean? Like, that, that is, like, way too obscure. There's no hints that it's there and you can't revisit. And it's not like that ends up being the reward from the person giving you the cards either. And apparently you also have to, but yeah, okay. Oh well. So anyway, I'm glad we didn't do that. <laughs> Since that would have been, I literally would have been one-shotting everything. Thanks, Quintet. Yeah, pretty much. So I'm glad we didn't do that. That would have been, uh, that would have made an entire mockery out of the game. I'm glad we more mostly experienced it the way they intended. I'm not sure if the way we played was entirely the way that they intended. But yeah, I, I, let, let's give some thoughts here on the session before we go into final thoughts. So what did we think about the enemies that we fought today? What did we think about the plot? Well, Sentinel button reading and covering like nearly 270 degrees on a strike was pretty obnoxious. Um, not a fan of those. Those are definitely the hardest enemies in the game. Like, granted, run attacks still worked on them to an extent, but they had a lot of countermeasures with the laser eye stuff that purposely punishes you for running directly at them. So it forces you to sidestep, and by sidestepping, you can't do the run attack. So, like, they thought about it a little bit there. Like, the, the answer is still the circle strafe, honestly, for the most part. Um, but the fact that you're, like, negative on hit when you strike them is really stupid. I, you know, I don't mind them having some advantages over you, but they should absolutely not be able to punish you if you're hitting them. That's stupid. Stupid. Stupid, chat. I, I will never appreciate it. I will never like it. Bad. Bad game. Uh, the dragons were mostly just tedious. They weren't really difficult. They're not challenging. They're they're much easier than Sentinel. It's just that the punishment for messing up is much higher than Sentinel because it forces you to attack like potentially six more times to kill them. So not really great. Um, final boss, easy, easy. Like the other bosses were slightly more tedious, where you had to kind of figure out their patterns a little bit more, like. The, the, I think early on when we had to fight the sorcerer boss, whose name I forget offhand, for example, taught us the value of run attacks so we could finally get multiple hits in rather than just walking or uh, dashing. And after that point, it basically was used to cheese a lot of things, and we cheesed the final boss with it. He, he had no counterplay to it. I was kind of hoping it would be more of like melee mixes, but with him flying into the sky just ended up being really easy.
He felt like knockoff sorcerer. Like at no point either did he get like the invincibility shield or the heal magic that the later sorcerers did. So honestly, I think later sorcerers were harder than the final boss and so much more punishing. Can you imagine if that boss drained your MP like the other sorcerers did? Like remember when the other sorcerers took 200 MP from me? That would have been like actually hard. I think we could all agree. If the boss had access to that and the life drain stuff, that would have been obnoxious. So in one way, I'm happy that he doesn't have it. And then the other, a little disappointed. Uh, I guess I really have too much else to say. I mean, I guess the endings where you lived in a destroyed world or you redo the past. Um, either way, Laramie kind of gets screwed over in both endings. <laughs> Be real with you. She she definitely had it the worst so far. Everybody she knows dies and or her existence is undone. <laughs> you pick one. You pick which one is the worst ending. Laramie Laramie's life sucks, chat. I think we could all agree. Wow, poor Laramie. She got absolutely bodied. Let's let's put on some music. So I think we're done with Grand Stream then. We'll be moving on to another game next week. But if there's any other thoughts you want to give on this session before we go into true final thoughts, for sure. I will state, though, that I love that they gave us the all-powerful magic spell of Grand Stream, and then we only had, like, what, four enemies to potentially use it on before the end of the game? So that was dumb. They, they waited way too long in the game to give that to us. Also, the fact it cost 300 MP was sad. Were you like I used Flame Sphere? on the one fight and the enemy just straight up blocked it and it costs like 180 MP out of, you know, potentially 600 or so. So that was just absolutely not worth it in the slightest. Yeah, disappointing chat, disappointing. But anyway, uh, we're going to take a pause here from the standpoint of the playthrough. Uh, we captured both endings of the game. I don't think I'm going to go back and go see what the other people give you for the side quests. I don't think it's super relevant. From what I'm reading up on, it's mostly just items. We did the plot related ones, so I could be happy with that. That's all I really care about. So anyway, chat, let's uh, say goodbye to YouTube. You looked up a video getting the ultimate weapon, it's really dumb. Oh, I'm sure it's ultra dumb. The fact that it's literally uh, almost three times stronger than the best weapon in the game. And literally more than double our current power at the end of the game before even using things like Strength Up is insane. I guess I could have used Strength Up to speed up the boss fights. I guess. I don't know. I'm one of those people where if I have a limited resource, I really don't like to use it unless I'm like speedrunning something. So I just never ended up using magic for its intended purpose. Oops, I guess. But hey, at least I can prove you don't need magic to win. <laughs> I guess you could take it one way or another there. But yeah, we ended up using basically none of the spells in the game except for heal and uh, translation. But anyway, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube for this part. So if you did watch to this point in the video or the VOD, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again in the next Quintet game and also the final thoughts.